This extracted upper molar was cross-sectioned and a large class 1 carious lesion is revealed. There is also an amalgam class 5 on the buccal surface. The tooth was sectioned from the buccal to the lingual and the extent of the deep lesion is visible. The overlying enamel has some decay, but not a lot, so there is minimal access to the infected dentin below. Here the pulp chamber is visible and was opened when the extracted tooth was cross-sectioned. This is extremely soft carious dentin, and yet a narrow band of healthier dentin remains overlying the pulp. This dentin is still hard when probed with the explorer. We'll have an inside view of how SmartBurst 2 allows caries removal without breaching the healthy ledge of dentin and unintentionally entering the pulp. To gain access to the deep lesion, an SS white fissurotomy burr is selected to remove enamel. The long, thin, tapered shape of the fissurotomy burr is nearly equal to the enamel thickness and gains access through the enamel quickly. Depending on the class of cavity presented, you can gain access by using fissurotomy burrs, air abrasion systems, or other carbide burr shapes appropriate to the location and shape of the carious lesion. The fissurotomy burr has created good occlusal access and the softness of the lesion is apparent as the explorer penetrates the carious dentin. Now you can switch to a Smart Burrs 2 instrument to remove the infected dentin. Select a Smart Burrs 2 instrument appropriate to the size of the lesion. Smart Burrs 2 are single patient use instruments available in sizes 4, 6 and 8 for right angle, slow speed hand pieces. The Smart Burst 2 instrument is used in the slow speed hand piece at 5000 to 10,000 RPM to remove infected dentin. Operating the hand piece at the lower end of this range, around 5000 RPM, will extend the service life of the Smart Burst 2 instrument. Beginning in the center and top of the carious lesion, a circular, light brush stroke is used to remove decay, working toward the periphery. After the top layers are removed, return to the center and proceed down into the decay, taking care to reduce contact with the axial walls. When the Smart Burrs 2 instrument contacts harder, healthy dentin, you will tactilely sense a vibration as the instrument encounters tooth structure that it is unable to cut. After repeated contact with the harder healthy tissue, the polymer edges of the Smart Burrs 2 instrument will roll and become deformed. You will feel tactile smoothness when the instrument is spent. This narrow band of healthy dentin protects the pulp from exposure. Use of the Smart Burrs 2 polymer instrument has preserved it. It would have been difficult to preserve this shelf of dentin by using a round carbide burr. There is still decay to remove as detected in these areas with the Explorer. In this area, the dentin looks more translucent and that is caries affected dentin, but it is not soft and it is not highly infected. The remaining areas of carious dentin are removed with the Smart Burrs 2 instrument. The area is checked again with an explorer and a hard scratchy surface is detected indicating caries removal. There is a small layer of affected dentin that is non-carious and that has been preserved and is protecting the pulp. If decay is present in an undercut area, stop Gary's removal and create access. The fissurotomy burr is shown here again and would be used to cut a clear path through hard tissue, 
so the polymer burr can regain access to the soft lesion. Encounters with hard tissue will rapidly wear the Smart Burrs 2 instrument. A fresh Smart Burrs 2 instrument may be needed to remove remaining decay. The Explorer is the recommended method to verify caries removal with the Smart Burrs 2 instruments. Stained dentin may or may not be carious. Natural dentin staining within a carious lesion can be tan, brown, or black, and may be healthy or caries-affected dentin that does not need to be removed. Using your Explorer in dentin is a generally accepted method to verify caries removal. Caries dyes may be useful in assessing dentin decay removal. In general, brightly red-stained dentin is highly infected and indicated for removal. Lighter pink-stained dentin may be affected or healthy tissue and should be inspected with an explorer to assess the need for removal. When the decay is completely removed, the cavity is filled with a restorative material. Smart Burrs 2 are single patient use instruments to be disposed of after use. Smart Burrs 2 are minimally invasive caries removal instruments designed to conserve healthy dentin, guard against pulp exposure, and reduce post-operative sensitivity. For deep lesion dentistry, Smart Burrs 2 is the intelligent burr that you and your patients can appreciate. <laughs>